I was down to uh, six horses for Mr. Miller, and that was it. And I wasn't able to pay the workman's comp, which is always so high down there. So they suspended my license. And when they suspend a license, they take away your stalls. I had heard he was having issues, um, but I was happy to help. But it was under my terms. It's not, I'm going to give you money or I'm going to buy a house for you. It's, you're going to go up to mending fences and they'll be able to diagnose what your issues are. And I can't. Rob has always been over backwards for me, always. So I entrusted my health with him and I knew they had a rehab center up here. So I just called her and I said, what can I do? I have nothing. I have no place to live. I don't have a car anymore. I used to rent cars every week. He needed housing. Uh, he needed people to talk to. He needed food. And this is a place I owned. And I thought we could help him. And so I said that if you want help, I, you need to go up and mending fences. Uh, I saw the movie uh, with Jeff Bridges, uh, Crazy Heart. I was with my wife. And uh, it's a movie about a uh, country western singer, which was Jeff Bridges. Uh, drugs, alcohol, bar to bar, does something wrong, and ends up going to rehab, comes out of rehab a new man. And I said to my wife when I came out of the movie that I want to convert the facility into a combination of rehab for people and horses. So I spent the next year on and off traveling around the country coming up with the program. Well, I came out here to the barn the first day and they were asking me along with the other people to brush them and do grooming which I did when I was eight so I told uh, Terry who was the instructor I said I used to pay people to do this and I really don't want to do it and I ended up finding a horse that I wanted to do it with and it was a uh, thoroughbred and I had run against this horse for probably two years down at Gulfstream and called her. Being a thoroughbred, being I had run against him, knew the horse, knew the trainer. So that kept me all in touch with racing as good as I could here because it's just not a racing element. I think a, a big part of it because it, uh, we bonded and he trusted me and I trusted him, but um, I could tell he was a very intelligent type of horse and he's just been a blessing for me now. The horses are big and they're prey animals and uh, they get scared and then they, we make, when they make a friend, they really make a friend. So they, uh, people, clients that have come in here have made great strides with the horses and the horses have done the same. I don't think I want to go back to the racetrack at this time. It's, uh, it scarred me for a while. I don't want to go back for a while. And I used to love to rehab horses when I was training. And that's what I'd really like to do. I rented a place here for a year. My sister's going to help me. I'm going to get a car next week. And I've reached out to 30 different farms, some that I've trained for, some that I grew up with the owners. And uh, amongst those 30, I mean, I think I could probably have five that would give me a chance. He's, as far as I'm concerned, he's better today than I've ever seen him. And I've known him for a dozen years or longer. But I just want to get well first, um, live up here for a while because it's very serene growing up here brings back a lot of roots and memories. So for the time being, I'm happy doing this. <laughs>